morning. We're here in the Tianwen Museum. Radio wave telescopes are something I'm, I'm not really familiar with. I didn't know that this fast uh, is standing somewhere in the hills of, of Guizhou. So the fast is a huge telescope. You can imagine it like a huge uh, salad bowl that stands between the mountains and hills of uh, Guiyang. We had a walk around, we talked with some of the engineers and scientists who worked there. We had enjoyed the honor that uh, we had the opportunity to walk like directly to, to the salad bowl. We're actually enjoying a very explicit tour around this museum that's encompassing both uh, general space science together with uh, the actual working of the fast. So here you can experience how it is to get sucked into a black hole. Not actually enjoyable, but an uh, interesting experience for sure. Quark in German is a kind of yogurt. Uh, and now we are here in uh, beautiful Pingtang and uh, there's some scenery on the street. We have uh, two and a half more hours to go on the road until we get to the big data center. After a long ride in the car, in the bus, we are finally at the data, big data exhibition center and it already looks very much like big data. You see uh, lots of uh, fancy screens everywhere in this exhibition and uh, this one for example shows that there's also applications in the medical sector for big data in Guizhou. Here is uh, another robot who can even move his head. Looks very cute. So you can't see me. It's kind of funny, not everything has been digitalized here yet. There is still a uh, digital dictionaries. Lots of lots of books and dictionaries. I think big data is like uh, one of these major future technologies that, uh, um, that are absolutely worth to explore and uh, of course it's surprising that Guizhou that uh, has this reputation as one of the poorest provinces in China but uh, maybe there's a whole infrastructure uh, service sectors that develop around uh, big data not only for for uh, uh, programmers, uh, but also provide jobs for, for people who work in the service industries that cater to big data. I think I would never dare to, to claim, I understand China. I would only say, uh, I understand China a little bit better than I did before. Uh, it's, it's a journey. <laughs> it's a journey with, without an ending. Yeah. And China is too, too big with too many different faces and places and realities that coexist at the same time. So I think it's, um, that's the fascinating thing about it, that the value of this journey for me is that it's like a tiny piece in this huge puzzle that I can add to, to my puzzle, but I know I'm never going to really finish it. Uh, the trip was the first vlog I ever did in my life, so please excuse the rather poor quality of it.